Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection is just one game for Windows Live title that won't work anymore. Let's fix it. Hey everybody, Shane Armonroe here. Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection, a game long dead thanks to Games for Windows Live, a very dead service from Microsoft that essentially tried to bring online gaming to the masses. And much like all of these other lockers have the potential of doing, it shut down and locked everybody out of their games that they've already purchased. Now you do have to own this game, Mortal Kombat Collection on Steam. And of course you saw that Steam Deck said, this does not work on the Steam Deck but we're gonna prove them wrong. So I'm gonna download this whole thing and we're gonna go through each step and I'm not gonna cut a lot of stuff out because I want you guys to see what could happen and what could go wrong so that you're prepared for it. This is a teach as well as do channel. All right, so the game is finishing up. We're gonna start the game and it's gonna give you a CD key. I've never once had to use this, but I copied it to the clipboard anyway at this stage of the install. So it's gonna go through this whole bit. This is normal stuff, we see this all the time. Installing Microsoft DirectX, Visual C++, this runtime, that runtime, whatever. You'll also see, oddly enough, that it installs Games for Windows Live, which is bizarro because it's long since been dead. But they're gonna install it anyway, which of course doesn't make this game run any better. Again, we're gonna go ahead and let this whole thing just kind of write itself out because there's going to be a problem here in a minute and I want you to see what happens. So at some point, it's going to get to this and it's gonna sit here a long time. It's dead, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are going to exit the game and restart the Steam Deck. So let's restart. Now when I restarted, it hung during the restart. I actually did a full physical power off. Your mileage may vary, but I wanted you to know that happened. Okay, so now all we have to do is go back in. It should be ready to play now. And again, it's gonna ask us if we wanna copy our CD key, which we'll do even though we don't need it. And then this time it's going to not do the install scripts and you're gonna see it start. Or are you? Now we know it doesn't work, right? But I wanted to show you that it doesn't work and what happens when it doesn't work. It sits here and it hangs. You don't see any frame pacing going on. You see nothing. It's dead as a doorknob because there's no live server for it to talk to. We're gonna exit the game normally. Now, let's head on over to desktop mode and fix this nasty little problem. Back on desktop, we're gonna open up your favorite browser and go to this address. It'll be included in the description below. This is called xliveless. This is designed to help get these terrible online only type authenticated games to work, period. Okay, so we've downloaded it. We've saved it to our downloads folder right here. Make sure it keeps the zip extension. Some browsers like to mangle extensions. Open up Dolphin and in our downloads folder, we'll find the X Liveless zip, right click, extract, and we're gonna let it auto detect a subfolder that'll put it in its own X Liveless folder. These two files are the magic that are gonna make this work. Next up, Compat Data. If you don't already have Compat data on the left-hand side of your Dolphin, I highly recommend you watch my Dolphin Tricks and Tips video right up here on the right-hand side. You're going to uh, get a lot of benefit out of that. Now we're looking for 205-350. This is a real Steam game, right? So it has the same number for everybody. We're gonna dig in here, go to PFX, go to Drive C. Now this is weird. It's in the Windows folder in a folder called SysWow64. Yeah, yeah, good luck with that. All right, so this is where Xbox Live installs. It's like right inside the Windows subsystem. That's what you get away with when you're Microsoft, right? So you can see X Live is down there. We're gonna copy this over. Just uh, right click and copy will work. And paste over here. Now make sure that you do an overwrite. And I'll say apply to all and overwrite. Great, we want to get rid of the original live files that are stopping us from getting out there. Believe it or not, that's it. <laughs> Can you believe it? It's just that easy. Uh, again, you know, hindsight's 2020 and uh, 2.0 knowledge knows correct answer when told. Okay, so into Mortal Kombat, we're gonna go again. Again, you're going to be harassed <laughs> about your CD key. And this time we're gonna go ahead and tell it, hey, listen, uh, don't show it to me anymore. If you feel like it, leave it, but just don't show me this anymore. 
All right, look at this. Here we go. Is it going to make it further? Is it going to make it further? Big money, big money, no whammies, no whammies. Stop. And we stop at a title screen. Yay, we've got it. Okay, so we're pretty sure this works, right? But let's prove it all the way out, shall we? It's funny, you can skip every screen but the Unreal Technology screen. How funny is that? So this Mortal Kombat arcade collection has three Mortal Kombat games, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. It's amazing how long this takes to load when these are basically just arcade ROM dumps. Now, of course, there's online and achievements and leaderboards. Guess what? None of that stuff works. You get to play the game locally, and that's it. So let's take a look at what this looks like. We'll start up uh, Mortal Kombat here against the CPU. And uh, it looks just like the arcade game. Sounds just like the arcade game, plays just like the arcade game. All right, but I really want to see Mortal Kombat 2, right? That's probably what you bought this pack for anyway, right? Everybody loves Mortal Kombat 2. I certainly do. Now, at first, you might not see that there's a next and previous game at the bottom right. It took me a moment here, so I'm not uh, I'm not ashamed to admit it. But if you use right and left on the D-pad, it will change it to the next game. There we go. So all I really care about is Mortal Kombat 2. You've probably already checked out. If you're still here, thanks so much. If, if you're not a subscriber yet, why don't you do that for us down below? That'd be great. Of course, we'll have to take our buddy Baraka out. Understand I'm playing this like sideways, so don't judge my Mortal Kombat prowess. Hey, everything's here. The speech is here. The sound is here. It's full screen. Well, sort of full screen. It's got a bezel on it. But yeah, there she is. And she's playing with the controls. No fussing around. No fussing. It all just works. Listen, if you like what you saw here, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane R. Monroe. I appreciate each and every one of you. Leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching and take care. We'll see you next time.